Hey besties, by now you would have heard a lot that is going on regarding the Form A scene. Of course right now, different terminologies are flying everywhere. Floating Naira, devaluation, CBN wants to crash Form A, this and that. And I've even had people tell me, so why are you still doing the Form A series? And I'm going to explain why in this video. Not only that, I'm going to be breaking down what this devaluation of Floating Naira means for us and whether or not Form A is still a viable option for you and I. So if you're watching me for the first time, do well to stay subscribed to this channel as I talk about money, relocation, and lifestyle. My name is Ada, and I'm also known as The Legal Pepe. So what does this floating of Naira mean? I'm going to be putting up a definition of what it really means. Now, floating of Naira means that Nigeria has allowed market forces to determine the exchange rate of its currency. Previously, the Central Bank of Nigeria dictated the rate. That's why, come rain, come sunshine, the bank rate always had a particular threshold. And as at then, you will see that maybe it could be 585 naira to one pound. Even if it wants to reduce or increase, it's just going to be slight increment or decrease. But right now, CBN, in fact, in, in layman parlance, CBN has washed their hands of whatever happens to the currency. They are no longer going to tell us what to do. Now they are saying market forces do whatever you want to do. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? It depends on who is asking. For foreign investors, for instance, this is an amazing news. Actually, with this, there will be lots of foreign investment in Nigeria because foreign investors are no longer handicapped by the bank rate. They can dictate how much they want the rate to be and that's how it's good. Of course, there are still going to be lots of advantages, even in the stock market. Basically, you see all these people that trade and they import goods and before they'll be complaining that, ah, Naira is useless, Naira is useless. Now, they cannot say it anymore because Naira would increase. But of course, this does not mean it's going to be all beneficial to everybody. For instance, it's really going to affect a lot of things for now because it just happened and the cost of goods and services would actually increase and at this point i'm like nigeria let the poor breathe <laughs> i need to say that but now let's focus on us as international students or us as nigerians looking to come to the uk or to other countries now is this a good news for us definitely not now my issue with this is that when devaluation happened, the government did not put a safety net for the poor. And that is something that is just common in Nigeria. They would put policies and there is no thought about how to cushion the effect. See subsidy for instance, they just did it and they did not care that at the end of the day, people would be suffering because of the effect of the hike in fuel. Of course, goods and services would increase. And that still happened with the devaluation of the currency. Because for foreign students, you see all this from A, how it helps us save money. It's not going to be like that anymore. Let me show you the current rate of Wanda as of today, the 22nd of June, 2023. So that is it. As at three weeks ago, when this had not been implemented, bank rate was about 585 naira to one pound. Now it has increased. Like this is, I don't even know, it's a lot. Now let's now compare it to, let me say, black market rate. I'll be using the Lemfi app for instance. And you will see that with this, one wonders why you need to still use the Form A. The central bank have directed commercial banks to float Naira freely. So basically, the Naira is floating. And that's why today it can be 900 and something to one pound. Tomorrow it can even be 1,000 or it can be less. Like it's just, it is floating. Now, not only would the Form A people suffer, the people that would also suffer from this are people that want to do proof of funds because the living expenses would now skyrocket. Like basically, our Naira is now a lot. 
So those people that are trying to come into the UK would now need more money than they ever needed, which is a very bad news for them, but that's it. You may ask me, as some people have already asked me that, so what's the point of doing from A? I get your sentiment because to me, right now, there is no point. Because if I have to wait for 120 days, which is more or less like 4 months, 3 to 4 months, for my form A to be processed, and it's going to be processed at 900 and something naira to one pound when i can just send the money to school directly and they'll get debited immediately for 970 something for me i would not even bother with it from a but there is a reason and the reason is that take note that this just happened right now and just like any policy when it just happens everything skyrockets so right now immediately see the way our rate has increased from 500 and something to 900 and something now i believe by the way i am not a financial analyst business analyst investor i'm nothing like that i'm just a baby girl that is very interested in money and of course this even affects me as an international student and i think that in the long run this thing would reduce i don't think in six months time it will still be as high as this no it would come down a bit but of course with the devaluation, the benefits we have been enjoying at bank rates, we would no longer enjoy that. So I don't envisage this happening that, okay, Naira will become 500 and something. No, we've left that place. Like, <laughs> we have moved on. But for it to remain at this 900 and something, I don't think it's something that will remain forever. I think it would come down to maybe 700 and something and that's the reason why this form a series is still very relevant because there are some people that would still need it in that time also there are some people that would not even mind still using it in this time because they may still have a little gain but for someone like me i would not bother with form a at this time now if you can remember my last form a video don't worry if you've not watched it i'll link it up here i made a form a transaction actually i made two form a transactions now am i going to withdraw my money right now and just pay pounds straight to school i would not and why because it's going to take about three to four months for that transaction to be processed and i believe that by that time the rate would have reduced a little and if it doesn't i would just remove my money and pay in pounds so that's my own personal analysis right now there is so much tension there's so much drama very soon it will calm down and that's what i believe but i'm not ignorant of the fact that my budget for the completion of my tuition fee would have to increase so if you're watching me and you've been planning you've been planning go and replan because if you don't you will just be stranded and that's the truth because regardless some of us would have to pay directly to school in pounds because this form a issue or this devaluation issue is actually a big deal now this is not to scare you in any way it's just for you to be informed that see you have to plan more if you know you need to do more things to get more money you just have to do it for instance if you need to get more skills to give you more or higher paying opportunities whilst you're a student please do because you would now need more money same goes to those people that are trying to come to the uk for instance for proof of funds you now need more money so if it's that you are only sourcing for funds please increase the money you are looking for because you are going to need more money regardless of this devaluation of naira would any of the processes of form a change the answer is no nothing will change every single thing that i've talked about regarding form a still remains the same it's still the same documents you need the same time frame everything still remains the same it is just that the amount you would need to put would have to be way more than you put if you can remember in the last video i put in 1300 pounds to get 2000 pounds right now what am i going to do i am going to add more money and put it in the naira account if not my form a will be rejected because right now one three cannot get two thousand with the current rate i would need at least one thousand nine hundred pounds to get two thousand pounds which makes no sense so before when i was thinking that i've gained like seven hundred pounds 
now i'm gaining like 100 pounds which in my opinion is very useless <laughs> if i have to initiate from a payment where i would wait for four months then at the end of the day just because i want to save 100 pounds forgetting the fact that school would be on my neck for me to pay of course it makes no sense so right now from a makes no sense for us but as i said i believe that in the long run it would ease off a bit but at this point i think we need to start looking for other options to pay our school fees or start looking for other options to get more money for instance i talked about convera and i got an information that a nigerian that has successfully used convera reached out to me and told me that oh they actually used but how they did it was they bought dollars put in fact the the story is so long bought dollars put dollars in the account converted dollars to pounds so basically they converted dollars to pounds even though the person is nigerian it felt like the person is like from the us to the uk and at the end of the day when i calculated how much the person gained it made no sense like it was just very small so this is not a very good deal for lots of us that want to pay our tuition fee and other bills but just like every other process that comes with its own challenges i firmly believe that see god cannot leave you stranded i don't know if you're a christian but i am and god cannot leave me stranded that's it <laughs> at this point you are left with like two options the first option is that you worry yourself like be worried fall sick out of worry or feel depressed out of worry because you feel hey where would i get this money from hey where would i where would i where would i or you stay calm trust in your maker to come through for you and whilst you are trusting ensure you do everything humanly possible to get as much money as you can to offset your bills so that's it about this video i hope it has helped you i'll be linking the form a playlist in case you want to understand more about this form a and until next time stay blessed stay happy Bye guys!